Okay, so in this video, we are going to look at um, we're going to look at a linked list problem, and uh, this is the reversal of a linked list. So we're going to look at a reversal of a linked list, and um, here I'm talking about more specifically a singly linked list. So we're going to look at a reversal of this list, and um, the approach we're going to take in this uh, in this video is going to be using a iterative iterative approach so we already looked at a recursion solution in one of my earlier videos in this video we're going to explore how to do the same problem but this time using a iteration solution so again just to frame this problem what we have here is some kind of a singly linked list so let's just draw one of these singly linked list uh, so let's say I've got four of these nodes here so that's my second node this is my third node and this is my last node over here so the last node points at none and I've got my head pointing at my first first node and um, let's just give some values here so let's say my first node is one two three and four and the question is write me a function write me some kind of a function f okay so let's say in this case uh, write a function function f that takes in this link list it takes in a link list and what it actually does it does a reversal here and um, the reversal is um, got this uh, list over here that's the reversal so let's just draw that list again with my four nodes and um, so we're just going to assume that my linked list is mutable to begin with so it's the same linked list that's going to get mutated to have this reversal performed and again so my values over here are one two three and four and um, and uh, my head in this case, my head in this case is pointing, is pointing at the node four. Okay, so this is the problem. Here. Write this function f that basically takes in a linked list. It takes in the head of this linked list. It does some set of operations so that the same linked list has been mutated, uh, and uh, and you're going to return back. You're going to return back the head of the reversed linked list, and. Uh, the way to do this problem, because we're using an iterative solution, is let's come up with a loop invariant. And uh, again, the loop invariant is going to at least help us. It's going to help us to think a uh, little bit more uh, clarity and uh, and uh, hopefully design a problem in such a way that uh, that uh, our chances of making an error, our chances of making a mistake, get reduced drastically. So, uh, so my loop invariant here is let's just let's just uh, let's just look at two halves of this linked list here. So this is the linked list that's given to me, okay? And uh, let's just try to let's just try to draw these two halves here. So let's just split it at this point, okay? And um, what I'm proposing here is, if, so even before doing that, even before doing that, let me just have one more node here. Let me just have one more node here, just so that we can have a slightly interesting problem to play with. So instead of having four nodes, let's just have a linked list with, with, with five nodes here. So let's just have one more node added. And uh, this is none, and this is five. Okay, so what I want to do now is, I just want to start thinking about a possible loop invariant that I can, that I can, that I, that I can do at this point, and uh, what is that loop invariant going to be? So one way to visualize this problem is, uh, if, I were to, if I were to have some kind of a, if I were to split this linked list, okay, and uh, if I split this linked list, um, one way to think about this is everything that's before this pink line, meaning everything on the side, okay, everything over here on the left of this, think of this as something that has already been reversed. Everything at this end has already been reversed, and everything on the right of the pink line is something that still that still needs to be done. Okay, so this is still remains to be sorted, meaning, sorry, no, I shouldn't be using the word sorted here. I mean, everything on the right of the pink line is something that still needs to be reversed and everything before the pink line is something that has already been reversed. So what would that picture look like? What would that picture look like? That picture would look like something like this. So uh, I'm just going to erase a few of these things from my, uh, from my, board here so let's just erase uh let's just erase maybe this piece here okay so i just have some space to draw and uh 
I'm just going to say that everything on the pink, everything on the left of the pink has been reversed. So if everything on the pink has been reversed, that picture should look something like this. It should look something like like this over here. So I have got my one as my node two. And uh, because I'm proposing that everything has been reversed here, the next of the node two should be pointing at one and the next of one should be pointing at none. Assuming that this has been reversed. And head at this point, head at this point should be pointing, should be pointing at node two. And if everything after the pink line is still remaining, that picture, just that continuation of the same picture would look would look something would look something like this. So I've got my node three there, I've got my node four, and uh, this is my node five, and uh, so this is node three, node four, and node five. And again, just this pink line, this pink line goes this way, okay. And everything after the pink line has needs to be needs to be reversed yet. And uh, so, which means that uh, that my that my next pointer should still be pointing at four. The next of three should still be pointing at four, and the next of four, the node four should be pointing at five, and the next of five still still should be pointing at none. Now, of course, I need some kind of a reference that happens to point at that portion of the linked list that still needs to be reversed. So let's just call this. Let's just call this U. Okay, U is that reference that still happens to be pointing at that portion of the link plus that still needs to be needs to be reversed here. Okay, and this is basically what what my loop invariant is. My loop invariant here is that uh, that as this pink line as this pink line starts moving towards the right, as this pink line starts moving to the right, what's happening is this U this U will keep on pointing to that portion of the link list. Will keep on pointing to that portion of the link list that still needs to be reversed. And head is always going to point at that portion of the link list that has been reversed. So because head and U are both moving towards the right, as they're both moving towards the right, as and as they keep on moving to the right, at some point, at some point, my picture, my picture over here is going to look like something like this. At eventually, I'm going to hit something that should, that should look like, that should look like, let's say, let's see. At eventually, at some point, I'm going to have something that looks like one, two, three, four, five, and the node, the next of node five should be pointing at four. Four should be pointing at three. Three should be pointing at two. Two points at one, and one points at none. My head, my head points at the node five. So I can see that the head has actually moved towards the right. And this U, this U, at some point, you can think about U at this at the very very last step where the entire list has been reversed, you should be pointing, you should be pointing at none, okay? So when you points at none, at least my loop invariant guarantees that uh, that in this case, head should be pointing one before you, because head is always pointing one before one before you. So in this case, head should be pointing at that portion of the linked list, which has completely, completely been, been reversed here. Okay, so given this idea, given this idea now, let's let's think about let's think about how I can use my loop invariant to actually actually get my problem completely formulated. So I'm just going to keep the first two pictures the way it is right now, and I'm just going to use some space on the very bottom here to to write my code. So so let's do this. Uh, let's let's use let's use uh, let's use uh, maybe let's use green to write a code in, and. Um, Let's just think about this. Let's just think about what is it? Uh, what what would the next image step be? So from from this point, from this point here, whatever this whatever this step is, what would my next image step be? Well, my next image step is going to be U is going to point at four, H should be pointing at three, okay, and the next of three, the next of three should be pointing at two, which would mean that the pink line has moved one node after, meaning. Let's just let's just let me do this again. Let me just draw one next step just after <clears throat> excuse me, just after this uh, this uh, green green star. So just after this, what I have here is uh, I'm going to have I'm still have my five nodes here, okay, and I'm still going to have the numbering as one, two, 
three, four, and five. And the very next step is going to be I'm going to have my uh, I'm going to have my U pointing at four and head will be pointing at three. And the next and the next of this of the, of the of node three should be pointing at two. Next of two should be pointing at node one, and the next of one should be pointing at none. And the next of four is pointing at five. And just to be consistent with this picture, the pink line has moved one towards the right. And this is the next immediate step after the green star. So let's just call this, let's just call this maybe two green stars, okay? Just to give some notation here. Okay, so for moving from one green star towards the two, two, two of these uh, yellow, yellow stars here, this is what the picture should look like. Everything before the pink, everything before pink has been reversed. That's my loop invariant. Everything before pink has been reversed. And I can see that everything before pink has been reversed here. And everything after pink needs to be, needs to be reversed here. Okay, so can I write some code? Can I write some code that would actually take me from this position over to this position? What is that set? What is a set of instructions that I should be formulating at this point that allows me to move from this point over to this uh, two, two yellow stars here? Okay, so let's do this. Starting starting at this green step, if you were at the green step here, if I were to write some code here, if I were to write some code here that says temp, if I say temp equals to, equals to, equals to u dot next, what does that mean? If u is pointing at node 3, and if I say temp equals the u dot next, what that means is temp is now going to point at, temp is now going to point at whatever is u dot next. If this entire thing is u, u dot next points at the node 4, so temp at this point is pointing at node 4. Okay, so temp equals the u dot next. If temp equals the u dot next, what should what should the next of u should be pointing at? If I look at the picture just after this, the next of node three, the next of node three is pointing at node two. Right there, the next of node three is pointing at node node two. What is it that I should write there? What is that what is the instruction that I should be writing here that makes the next of u point at node two? Two. Well, the first thing I need to know is what is it that, that is pointing at node 2? What is pointing at node 2 is head. So can I say at this point u dot next equals to equals to head, meaning this is u, this entire thing is u, u dot next equals to head. So what I've done here is I'm just going to draw these dots here to show you that the that the that the next of u is now pointing at wherever head is pointing at. This is no longer the case. This blue has been crossed out. This is what the picture looks like. And this, so far, what I've done here resembles what should I'm hoping to converge at. I'm hoping to converge at this. This is the step I'm trying to go from. I'm trying to go from this green star to these two yellow stars here. So, so far, so good. I've got this part of the code correctly done here. But what else do I need to do at this point? So if u dot next equals to head, now I need to think about where should head be pointing at. Head is something that should be pointing at node 3 in the eventual picture. I still have head pointing at node 2. So what should I do to for a head to move from this node over to node 3? What is it that is what is that reference that is happening to be pointing at node 3? U. So I'm going to say head. Head equals to u, which means that head is now pointing at node 3. Okay, excellent. So I've got head equals to u, okay? And I can see in this case, head is pointing at node 3. I've got head pointing at node 3. What is it that I should do with my, what is it that I should do with my, with my node, or with my reference, with my reference u now? With my reference u, you should be pointing at wherever temp is pointing at, because you should eventually move, you should eventually move to node 4. This is my node 4 right here and you should be pointing at the node 4. So how can I make this you move over to node 4? Well the question then comes down to what is it that is pointing at node 4? 
temp is pointing at node 4. So I can say this point u equals to temp, in this case, temp. So once I say u equals to temp, u at this point is now pointing at wherever temp is pointing at. Okay, look at this look at this modification that I've done on this picture and compare that set of modifications to what I would eventually like to converge at. These four instructions, these four instructions would allow me to move from this green star over to these two yellow stars. But the question is, how many times should I keep on repeating this set of instructions? These instructions that I've just formulated here needs to be repeated a certain number of times until my entire linked list has been reversed. So let's, so now the, the, now the idea is I should be taking everything in yellow here, everything in yellow here, and surrounding that in some kind of a loop. And the loop over here, the conditional loop here is as long as, as long as you, this, this, this reference you, as long as this you is not equal to, not equal to none. As long as you is not equal to none, keep on doing this keep on doing this and the moment you have finished doing these set of instructions a certain number of times i would have i would have you pointing at none when the loop breaks when the loop breaks you should be pointing at none okay because my condition here is as long as you not equal to none keep on doing this but the moment the loop breaks okay when the when the when the uh, when the loop breaks here, at some point, just after the breaking point, I'm going to have u u equals to equals to null. Okay, but I still have some I still have some pieces remaining to to tie up my code here. So, so this is the set of instructions here. Now let's think about what is this picture going to look like at the very very start. At the very start, just when you're about to perform a reversal of a linked list. I know that this pink line, this pink line is going to be at the very left, okay? So my pink line, just to be consistent with my loop invariant. Remember, I'm trying to make sure my loop invariant is consistent at very, very specific portions in my code here. So if I were to use, let's say in this case, the orange line, my loop invariant is something that must be true just before the start of the while loop. It must be true just after the while loop, but just before the body of the while loop. Everything in yellow is the body of the loop. So my orange line is the, is, is these, are these points here. So let's name, name, let's name that point one. Let's name this point two. My loop in range should be true at point one, point two. It should also be true just after the body of the while loop, which is point three. And the last place is it must also be true just when the loop loop terminates. Just when the loop terminates before any other instruction gets executed at that point here. It should also be true at that point four. Okay, so so in this case, uh, uh, what is it I should do so my loop in it actually holds at point one. So let's think about the picture here. Let's think about the picture. What would the picture look like before I start executing my loop? The picture is going to look like, okay, so if I just redraw, if I just redraw, so this is this is uh, just before the step. Okay, just before the step here, I'm just going to draw this a little bit and small here to show you what the picture would look like, or what would the loop in it look like at the very, very start before the loop, before the loop. Uh, uh, executes is that my my head this is the original linked list right I got a head pointing at one two three and four this is pointing at two two is pointing at three three is pointing at four and again where would the pink line be well pink line just to be consistent with the pink line is something that is at this point pointing or uh, this is the division here everything after the pink line needs to be reversed and that makes sense because because so far nothing has been reversed in my linked list. Everything, the the entire the entire list needs to be reversed here. So everything everything after the pink line needs to be needs to be needs to be reversed here. Okay, but again, what did my loop invariant tell me? My loop invariant was telling me is that is that u is that pointer or u is that reference that should be pointing at that portion of the linked list that needs to be reversed here. So let's think about this. What should u be equal to? So I'm just going to use pink here. Uh, just to show you that piece of the code that just happens with before the while loop. So I'm going to say u should be equal to head because u should be pointing at that portion of the linked list that needs to be reversed here and u is always pointing one after the, just after the pink line. So in this case, u is something, u in this case is something that should be pointing at 
the node 1. And what is it that's pointing at node 1? Head is pointing at node 1, so u equals to head. But where should head point at? According to my loop invariant. According to my loop invariant, head is pointing at that portion of the linked list that has already been reversed here. But at the very start, what is that portion of the linked list that has been reversed? Well, nothing has been reversed here. Head, I mean, you don't have any portion of the linked list that has been has been reversed here. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to say head, I'm just going to say head equals to none now. So after setting e equals to head, I'm going to say head equals to equals to none. Okay, so does my loop invent hold at point one now? Well, it does hold at point one because at point one, u equals to head and head equals to none, meaning now my head, if I would just be consistent, your head is now no longer pointing at node one, it's pointing, it's pointing at none. And this picture, what I've just done here, this picture is completely consistent with this picture over here, is completely consistent, sorry, this is this picture over here, is completely consistent with this picture over here, and is completely consistent with this picture over here. So my loop invent is being is 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 something that's valid at this end, is something valid on this tire, is also valid at this star star. Okay, so now when the loop breaks, when the loop breaks at point three, okay, my loop uh, in this case loop uh, my loop actually breaks at this specific point point four here at point four I've got u equals to none and head at this point should be pointing at the very last node or the new node of the entire reversed link list. So the only thing remains now is I should be saying, I should be saying return, return, return head. Okay, remember this is not part of the, of the body of the loop here. This is outside the body. Okay, and, um, and just to give a signature to my method here, so I'm going to say def reverse, let's just use R for short, reverse link list that takes in a head, it takes in a head and it does a reversal on the link list. So this is the entire code in, in Python. In my next video, I'm just going to take this entire idea from here, I'm going to do this in PyCharm. I'm going to show you this exact code in PyCharm and we're going to see how this thing actually, actually works out.